Hello everyone, here's a wee message for myself and a couple of members of staff just to wish you all the very best on your return to school. I hope you had an enjoyable, relaxing and fun-filled and action-packed holiday. I hope at the very least you spent some quality time with your family and your friends. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank all the members of staff and indeed all the local contractors for making sure that we're all ready to go, that the school's up and running for next week. There's been a huge amount of work done both on the fabric of the building and preparing all your lessons. In fact, today, uh, Oban and Tyree staff gathered together for the first of their two in-service days. I'd also like to say well done and congratulations to all the youngsters who have just gone through the exam period. There's some fantastic individual successes there. Individual successes that will allow pupils to go on to college, a couple are going on to university, and of course, a few will go on to the workplace. There are others who will use the exams that they just sat and passed to move on to the next step, whether it's Nat 4 into Nat 5, or Nat 5 into higher, or whatever. I'd also like to say uh, welcome back to everyone in the primary and everybody in the nursery, Got a few changes going on there as well. Most pertinent probably is the appointment of Lorna McRae as the Deputy Head for Primary. So a wee reminder that if you've got any questions or any concerns about primary issues, please go to your class teacher in the first instance. But then if you need a wee bit of extra support, then you'll get that from either the Family Liaison Officer or now from Lorna McRae, who is the Deputy for the Primary. Anya will remain the senior deputy for the whole school in my absence when I'm not strategically leading the place and she will be, however, getting an increased role in concentrating being the deputy for the high school issues. But again, if you have a question in the first instance, you'll go to the principal teacher of guidance, which is Mary, and if there's further support required, then Anya will give you it. And of course, whether it's nursery, primary or the high school, I, of course, will be your uh, your point of contact if the deputies can't help you out. So, welcome back, well done, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all next week. Thanks very much. La Magav, how many dogs have been a sir like in a court of grief? Una, I guess, as you know, Jenna Fugger, being a scholar in Aiken, Iriest Jolo and Anto Skol. I mean, dogs have got cheek, here in a mach, her son, and bacon like in a high Iraq, a lack of. I hope you've all had a great holiday. We're really looking forward to seeing everyone back at school on Monday and to welcoming our new S1s to high school. I'll be at the door to meet first year just in case you can't remember where to go. Senior pupils, Mialiver Mayock, congratulations. You'll have received your SQE results by now, so very well done for all the hard work you've put in. For those who are returning to school, I can't wait to see you on Monday. For those moving on to college, university or employment, good luck. We wish you all the very best and do keep in touch with us to let us know how you're getting on. If you didn't get the grade you were expecting, if your grade was lower than your estimated grade, you can appeal. You can do this yourself by going on to the SQA website, sqa.org.uk, or we can do it through the school for you. We'll be looking through all the grades this week and where an appeal is required, we'll submit that. If you've been disappointed by the grades, uh, that you've received, it's not the end of the world. Come and find M Mrs Cooney or myself and we can look at what to do next. So, enjoy the next few days of your holiday and we'll see you back on Monday. I would also like to congratulate all those who received their exam results this week. Well done for all the hard work. I just want to mention some primary information. We're really looking forward to welcoming all our children back on Monday the 15th of August. I just want to share with you some changes to the arrival arrangements. For the nursery, the start time will remain at half past eight in the morning and session timings remain unchanged. We're pleased to inform you that we can return to parents and children coming into the nursery through the school's main entrance and walking down to the nursery cloakroom together. Our childcare and education workers will be there to welcome you and your child. And once again, the nursery floor books will be available for you to look at each morning with your child. At the end of your child's nursery session, please go to the nursery garden and childcare and education staff will be there to meet you. For our new primary one pupils starting on Monday, we are delighted that parents are able to accompany their child into the primary classes on the first day of school again. We ask that it's a maximum of two people per pupil, please. 
The class teachers, Mrs McIntosh and Miss Campbell and myself will meet you and the children at the main reception at five past nine on Monday and we'll support you and your child to make their way down to their new classroom. Primary one parents are welcome to stay and to play with us until half past nine. Um, the primary playground will be supervised from 8.55 each morning um, and we ask all other pupils, primary two to primary seven, to line up at their classroom doors as usual at five past nine. Looking forward to seeing you all on Monday.